It was 1958 when Miss Joan opened the doors to the Palm Beach Ballet Center in Lake Park. But at the time, the Palm Beach Ballet Center was the only place to be. There was no other place to go if you wanted to have real ballet training. Carissa Kranz was in third grade when she joined the studio back in 1992, lighting up the stage each year until graduating from Dreyfus School of the Arts. <laughs> she was tough. I remember at rehearsals, chairs would fly if you didn't show up or you missed your cue. She was tough. She was not mean. She was probably the kindest soul you'd ever meet. She would stop traffic for ducks to cross the street and she was an animal lover. And I remember we had a pet spider at the studio, Spike, in the corner, because she didn't want to kill the spider. The Palm Beach Ballet Center became synonymous with community. I was on scholarship my whole life. She just wanted you to dance. And if you wanted to be there, the doors were open, period. These were all her performances. I remember actually seeing this in the studio. Yeah, because this was on the way to the costume room. Yes. Right upstairs. We were her kids. <laughs> this was during one of the shows, I think in 2007, when I came back to dance. Dance teaches you life lessons. Is this before your bat mitzvah? About, yep, I was 12. How to be dedicated, how to problem solve, how to be persistent, how to show up, how to be a perfectionist. That propelled Kranz to become a successful attorney, but about 10 years ago, she learned Miss Jones was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. I saw that the studio was pretty much taken from her and her home was in foreclosure. I was seeing the disease decline. I said if I could make ends meet and figure it out, she will never go back to a place like that. I spent a year changing diapers, feeding her, crushing pills, fighting the Medicaid system, getting her meals on wheels. It's so easy to be a victim of the system and she was an absolute victim of the system. It's been eight years since Kranz became Miss Jones' full-time caretaker. This whole thing has really made me believe in karma. I did what I felt was right for her, and somehow the universe has provided for us to be okay. She's made strides in spreading awareness, creating the Now Movement Band to share Miss Jones' most important message. The time is now. She's teaching present moment consciousness, how to live in the moment. You have to live in the now. The lessons from Miss Joan may no longer be inside a dance studio, but they will certainly last a life. Time. Her purpose is not over because she can no longer teach ballet. In many ways, she's still teaching. In Palm Beach County, Lenny Sue Paul, WPTV News Channel 5.